The underlying principle of Malcolm Bendel's unified field theory is that all elements are plasmoids and that all those elements are directly controlled by charge density, therefore making charge density the only relevant characteristic when considering zero matter, time, light and matter. The implosive vortex waveguide is inspired by the molten sea Vajra based on Malcolm Bendel's scientific observations drawn from his Bendel torus. This led to his unified field theory, which is clearly illustrated by his model of the elements and his octave dimensional model. The Bendel turbine has direct applications to all current technologies, but especially to the jet turbine and space propulsion industries. The Bendel turbine manipulates the movement of air using a structured waveguide to create an implosive vortex. This vortex, once established by the waveguide, becomes self-structuring, self-organizing and self-perpetuating around a pole emanating from the zero point of the model. This effect induces a vacuum, which is the defining operating parameter of the turbine. The airflow, which creates a clockwise imploding spiral vortex, centralizes and compresses the oxygen and fuel, which is then combusted to create a fire tornado, producing internal heat and an external vacuum. A conventional jet turbine directs the heat generated onto the blades, which in turn creates differential expansion. In contrast, the Bendel turbine directs the heat away from the blades, whilst the incoming air cools the system, creating a boundary layer that insulates the blades against the radiant high temperature emitted from the compressed fire tornado vortex core. This is equal to the effects demonstrated by the plasmoid thunderstorm generator. A conventional jet turbine blade has a high pressure boundary layer that generates friction and therefore heat, whereas the Bendel turbine fire tornado creates a central vacuum which expands out beyond the turbine blades and has the effect of causing the air in front of the Bendel turbine to be sucked into the central vacuum. The vacuum creates a minimal boundary layer effect, reducing friction and cools the turbine. The differential expansion doesn't matter on our blades because there is no inertial stress. The Bendel turbine, having no axle, turbine blades fixed to a shaft, bearings or moving parts, does not generate inertia and therefore does not subject the turbine blades to the destructive forces of heat and metal fatigue. In a conventional jet turbine, when subjected to both heat and pressure, the differential expansion inevitably leads to a deformation of the blades. This is due to the non-homogeneous casting and forming of jet turbine blades, combined with the weight differential between the boron, magnesium and aluminium alloy components, or composite materials where used. This differential deformation will result in an unavoidable imbalance manifesting as a vibration of the turbine, especially when amplified at peak load. In contrast, the Bendel turbine blades are stationary and operate as static mixes of fuel and air, structured and directed by a waveguide of intelligent design. This means that the weight of the Bendel turbine is an order of magnitude less than that of a conventional turbine design. Another major feature is that the engine moves into a vacuum instead of pushing into a body of air. When we apply plasma in quadrature to the zero point of our fire tornado, it combusts any remaining material and adds effective electron thrust, creating an afterburner effect.